All right. It's time to get editing on my Ghost in the Shell reviews. Let me see if anybody's been sending me any death threats on Facebook lately. <laughs> no! What the hell, DC? You should know better than that! Ugh, I thought we had seen the last of David Goyer, but apparently not. Apparently, he's sprung his ugly, bald head up again and might be ruining another one of my favorite superheroes. Well, he's already ruined Ghost Rider and, you know, Superman, so why it's another favorite superhero. Now, you may be thinking, why do I hate Goyer so much? Well, other than the fact that he's kind of a dick, he's just not a good writer. He's had two good movies, Dark City and Blade, and ever since then, it seems like every movie has just been trying to recreate that or just been a ripoff of that. He's got a terrible ego that seems to come through in his work that feels like that it's being so good, but it just comes off as pretentious. Case in point, Man of Steel. It came off as a very pretentious movie, and I first I thought I was blaming Zack Snyder for that, but I really never thought it was all Snyder's fault. I think it's more Goyer's fault. I really don't feel like he has a lot of love for any of these characters either, and that he's just a Batman fanboy who's trying to make everybody into Batman. Or Blade. Now I know what you're thinking, but Danny, he wrote the Dark Knight trilogy, that must make him a great writer. Well yes, yeah, so did Jonathan Nolan and Christopher Nolan. He was only a third string writer. He came up with some ideas that Nolan pretty much went and ran with, and two other people rewrote all the scripts that he worked on, so... Yeah, I really can't give him credit for that. He's probably responsible for the things that we didn't like in that movie, like the stupid Dark Knight ending. I'm sorry I insulted the Dark Knight. I, I, I love that movie. Just, just letting you know, I know people still get mad when people criticize that movie at all. Like, it, it's an amazing movie. I love the Dark Knight. Second greatest comic book movie ever made. Seriously. That was back when DC was making good movies. But seeing that he might possibly be directing Suicide Squad 2 or The Green Lantern Corpse, no! I don't even, at first I heard that he was writing it, and he doesn't deserve that. I really don't think he does. He hasn't earned that. You know, Marvel was smart to boot this guy out. I'm hoping that Jeff Johns being in creative control of this universe, kind of like the Kevin Feige of the DCEU, will like, you know, help make sure that nothing bad happens or that, you know, nobody will screw over, you know, the characters he's written for so long, you know, like the Green Lantern and everything. He's written some of my favorite Green Lantern stories. I'm hoping that he won't let Goyer ruin that. But really, I think at this point, like, you know, DC, they're, they're alienating a lot of their fans. They're alienating a lot of casual fans. And I really think that, like, I really think at this point, they really need to cut their loose ends and Goyer's one of them and he needs to go. I'm so stoked for Wonder Woman, and I'm still worried about Justice League, but they have the potential to still save this, you know, from themselves, and this isn't going in the right direction, bringing Goyer back. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just not. It was really obvious that watching Batman v Superman, that one writer really knew what the hell he was doing, and the other one didn't, because the script of that movie was redone by Chris Taro, the writer of Argo, at the last minute, and it shows that he just did the best he could with what he had, which probably wasn't much. Thanks to Goyer. Also, the man insulted Stan Lee. Stan Lee's the reason this guy even has a job. That should be a deal breaker for anything. That's like insulting Jack Kirby or anything, you know? You don't insult these people that have created these characters for you to work with so you can have a career. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. I'm really not excited to hear that Goyer's involved with any of these movies. With Suicide Squad 2, I would honestly just let the director of the first Suicide Squad direct it because he came out and admitted his mistakes, and I think that that shows something that he could probably make a really good sequel. Learning from your mistakes, that's one of the best ways to make movies, I think. As far as Green Lantern Corps go, uh, I love the Green Lantern Corps. They're like, you know, one of my favorite groups and comic books and everything, and I say just keep him as far away as possible from uh, the Green Lantern Corps movie. I mean, really, the Green Lantern Corps movie is coming out. We're getting a Green Lantern movie, like, too late as it is. I think that they waited a little bit too long to really introduce the Green Lanterns into this universe. I felt like they should have been introduced before the first Justice League movie. That way, I think we could have gotten a little bit more of a classic lineup to the Justice League, but, you know, you can't always get what you want, I guess. Anyways, guys, DC has put out more news that I didn't want to hear again, and every time DC does something that gets me really excited, they always do something else that just, like, ah. So... We'll see how this goes. Hopefully Goyer goes away 
and goes and does something else, that'd be nice. So, anyway, uh, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And be sure to check out my new website. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.